After a bill to change the Utah flag failed last year, sponsors of the bill proposed an amended flag bill to create a state banner instead, but that failed too. Natalie James, James is live in studio. Natalie, why do some people want to change the Utah flag? Representative Stephen Handy thinks the Utah flag looks boring and old-fashioned. He wants a new look. When you stand there at Four Corners and you see that cool Arizona flag, that great New Mexico flag, and that awesome, you know, Colorado flag, and then there's like Utah, like, what is that? After trying to change the Utah flag, Handy revised the bill proposing to leave the historic state flag alone, but create this state banner that Utah would use promotionally. When people go to Disneyland from Utah, and what do you see them wearing down there to denote that they're from Utah? A BYU sweatshirt or a Utah sweatshirt. With Utah's 125th anniversary of statehood this next year, Handy wanted to create a banner that would stand as a new symbol of Utah people would proudly wear. He wanted to use a banner review commission that would review public submissions and reach out to local schools, giving children a chance to submit a design. Right behind me, there's an exhibit detailing the evolution of the Utah state flag throughout the years. The original state flag was adopted in 1896. The flag through the minor changes has always detailed the state seal, which features an eagle, two American flags, seagull lilies, and a beehive. Some of the senators and representatives were worried about the banner distracting from the sacred symbols and meaning of the Utah flag, especially the ties to pioneer heritage and the struggle for statehood. Ultimately, the senators and representatives of the House Political Subdivision Committee decided against the proposed bill. Back to you.